Hey guys, welcome back to another season of The Naked Truth. Uh, in this season, I'm gonna switch it up on you guys. I realize that I've been taking a lot of your questions and giving you guys answers, but I may not have laid the proper groundwork or foundation needed. I mean, what's the point in me telling you about how birth control works if you don't even know what a uterus or a fallopian tube is? So today, we're gonna change all that. Uh, we're gonna figure out what's going on down here, starting with your vagina. <laughs> So basically, your vagina is actually not what you see on the outside. Uh, your body has internal and external sex organs, and your vagina is actually an internal organ. It's an elastic muscular tube that connects your cervix to the outside of your body. Now, its job is to carry sperm to the uterus and the fallopian tubes, and serve as a birth canal when you're giving birth, and carry out your menstrual flow. Woo, it's a friggin' powerhouse. So let's look at this diagram to figure out what the other internal organs are. Here you have the uterus, a pear-shaped organ that's home to developing a fetus when you're pregnant. The uterus is actually divided into two parts, the cervix, which is the lower part that opens into the vagina, and the corpus, which is the main body of the uterus. The corpus is the part that actually expands to hold a developing baby. The ovaries. These are small oval-shaped glands located on either side of the uterus that produces the eggs and the hormones. The fallopian tubes. These are narrow tubes that attach to the upper part of the uterus and serve as tunnels for egg cells to travel from the ovaries to the uterus, which is what happens during ovulation. Egg gets fertilized by a sperm here. So that's what's happening on the inside. What the heck is happening on the outside? Well, on the outside, you have your genitals, which serve two purposes. One is to allow sperm to enter the body, and two, to protect your internal organs from infections. Basically, they're like your security guards. And so you have the mons pubis. And this is composed of two parts, your labia majora and your labia minora, which in Latin literally translates to large lips, small lips. So your labia majora is the part that encloses and protects your external organs. Uh, it has oil and sweat secreting glands, and it's the part that grows hair during puberty. Your labia minora is on the inside of the majora and it protects the skin right around the opening of the vagina. So then you have the Bartholin's gland. This gland is located near the vaginal opening and it produces fluid secretion. Lastly, you have the clitoris. The labia minora meet at the clitoris. The clitoris is a small sensitive protrusion and it's covered by a fold of skin that can become erect due to stimulation. Now it's important to note that women also have a urethra which carries the urine from the urinary bladder. The difference with men is that men have a urethra that runs through the penis and also carries semen. Now for women, the urethra is shorter and it appears above the vaginal opening, but it only carries urine, so it has nothing to do with reproductive function. So that was a quick overview of your reproductive anatomy. Now stay tuned because in the pipeline we have videos on periods and pregnancy and all this good stuff, and the only reason you'll know about it is if you subscribe to our channel. So I'll see you guys later.